Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this video. Uh, today, today we are uh, working with um, uh, we are working with a practical example. Okay, um, this video is coming from my classes of power system analysis, and we have been working with the topic of um, short circuit analysis. Okay. And today we are working with a very specific example regarding unsymmetrical faults. Um, I highly suggest that you watch the previous videos, example 3.1 to 3.3, before attempting to uh, do this example. And the reason is very simple. Uh, we are still using the same power system here, and in in uh, in 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 example 3.1, we create the Thevenin equivalent model of this, and also we perform the calculations of the per unit values. Okay, um, and we will be using that uh, in this example today. Um, the first thing that you must realize is we have two generators here. We have two uh, two windings. Uh, sorry. One generator and one motor, and one motor, okay? Uh, one generator and one motor, and they are connected using two winding transformers, and there is a transmission line. At sample 3.1, we perform the uh, per unit calculations, and also we create this the sequence networks, okay? Uh, in this example, we are interested in calculating the subtraction fault uh, in per unit and kilo amps, considering that we are working with a bolt line to line fault, okay? In this case, we are considering that the fault is between phase B and C, and that is happening at bus bar two, okay? Okay, let's go for the solution. Uh, what you need to remember, it's something very important because we are working with a line to line fault all my students must remember from my uh, symmetrical component classes and also from my uh, class of um, um, symmetrical faults that the sequence networks they must be connected in parallel okay what i'm trying to say here is we are using a classical uh, line to line fault in this case they are zero impedance in that case, what we need to understand is that the terminal, uh, the terminal conditions, they impose that positive sequence should be equal minus negative sequence, and that is coming here from this parallel connection. Okay, there is no involvement of the neutral point or grounding point, and as consequence, the zero, the zero sequence component is not involved. And from here, you can see clearly that the zero component current is equal to zero. What is the next step? Okay, we define the interconnection of the uh, of the sequence network. They are connected in parallel, and all of my students they can use very circuit analysis. They can use very circuit analysis in order to calculate the positive and negative sequence currents. Okay, for instance, the positive sequence currents will be the voltage. There is only a single voltage source here inside the positive sequence model, and that is coming from the pre-fault voltage. We found in the previous example 3.1 that that voltage is 1.05, dividing the voltage by the total impedance, in this case is the series between the positive and negative impedance, we obtain here the per unit current, okay? That is very simple, it's just applying circuit analysis and circuit analysis to the interconnection of the sequence network, okay? Uh, per unit values of these sequence currents, they are interested by what we want, what we want to obtain, straightforward. What we want to obtain is the uh, unsymmetrical, the unsymmetrical currents. I mean, positive, negative, and zero sequence, they are useful. However, you need to understand, you need to understand that in real life, we are dealing with currents A, B, C. What is the target? Well, uh, here we are including the condition that the zero sequence is zero. 
Then we have the positive sequence with plus 90 degree angle. And here we have the negative sequence, the negative sequence current, and there is 180 degree between them because you must remember that I1 is here and this is minus I1, okay? Well, when we put the number together, we obtain here, I'm sorry, I put in the wrong place, so I put on the wrong place. Uh, here, this is I1, and this is minus I1, okay? Because downstairs, what we have here, what we have here is the line currents. We have the line current A, B, C. All my students must realize that this mechanism allow you this mechanism allow you to identify any mistake. I prefer to use in the matrix form because that is clearly one way to see if you are doing your proper calculations. In this case, we are running a we are calculating a line to line fall. The line B, the line A is not included, and because the line A is not included, the current going on this line is zero. Okay, but there are currents here in the face and the line B and the line C, and something that you must realize is that this is fulfilling. This is fulfilling. This is fulfilling the uh, the the practical uh, terminal condition that the current B is minus the current C. Okay. What I'm trying to say is, if you use the matrix form, you will be able to identify cases that something is wrong. And in this case, I can identify clearly that the line. A has no current and the line in, in B is minus line C, okay? I know my students, they love shortcuts and they can use this shortcut here. You can use my class of symmetrical components and you can get this approximation over there, okay? Okay, now what is the next step? Okay, the next step is we have those values in per unit, but in real life we are working, we are working with, we are working with uh, real units. And what we need to do to move from uh, symmetrical components, uh, for moving from symmetrical components to uh, to moving from moving from symmetrical components to uh, sorry, for per, per unit values to uh, real values, what we need to do is multiply using the base, okay? In this case, in example 3.1, we calculate the base. This is the base at 13.8 uh, kV, multiplying the currents that we calculate or already in per unit. We obtain here, we obtain here the current in amps, okay? What is the conclusion? The conclusion here is quite interesting and quite important because the current is around 26 kilo amps, okay? 26 kilo amps, and that is the current for this line to line uh, short circuits, okay? Uh, well, this is all for this example. This was a very basic example. We are calculating the line-to-line -line short circuits. I teach you how to use the interconnection of the sequence network and then calculate the uh, symmetrical components and finally converting from symmetrical to asymmetrical components. And that's all, okay? Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy. And please keep watching my videos and any feedback is totally appreciated, okay? Thank you very much.